Hola amigos, it's Ashton. And it's John, what's up, Sub Sandwiches? We are back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be watching... I am not reading that. I got it. <laughs> Deliso, Shafanda, all performances, Britain's Got Talent, 2017 third place winner by the channel 24-7 HD News. Link is down below. And another crypto, very important to support the channels you love, guys. Suggestion from Adhan McCruden. Thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. You also said in the comment. Sorry about the judges' comments in the video. Well, I don't know what that means yet, but I'm sure we will. Uh, you guys can also help support the channel if you click on that link down below in the descripto and throw it down through streamlabs. Gonna let you pick the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Click the videos, link title, your email, and now without further ado, let's get to the link. Let's do it. Okay. Awesome. So I just oh, walked yeah. That'd be so intimidating on a real note. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> you look happy. I am. I'm, I'm quite delighted. Hello. Uh, what's your name? It's, my name is Deliso. Deliso Chaponda. That's Deliso an amazing Chaponda. name. That's a Malawian name. I'm Malawian. Really? Yes. So I'm from Malawi, but I live in Manchester. Why have you come on Britain's Got Talent? I've come to, to make the people laugh. I'm a comedian. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see it. I would love the winner of Britain's Got Talent this year to be a comedian. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Who are you here with? So I'm here just alone. I, I, my brother, no, no, he wanted to come. He's a doctor. And he was like, either I should save lives or come with you. <laughs> Were your parents disappointed right that choice. one of you was a comedian, one of you was a doctor? They were absolutely horrified because I was studying computer programming. So uh -huh. I had a future. <laughs> and I just decided, no, let me be a clown. <laughs> you must be good, Chelsea. man. Oh, darling, good Hopefully. luck. Okay, excellent. It's kind of eh so far, you know, it's all right. Well, I'm at that age now. All my friends are getting married, and married people forget how horrible it is being single. They love to call me and complain about their couple problems. Always Lovely. get, you are so lucky being single. I get home, my wife just starts nagging, nag, nag, nag. I'm like, hey, I have to nag myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I get home, I'm like, what time do I call this? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I ever do the dishes? Sometimes I think I don't appreciate myself. <laughs> I haven't always been a comedian. I did some weird jobs. I used to clean houses, and I'll admit I was tempted to steal. <laughs> I didn't steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal, but nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> if you really did do that I now, everybody's questioning it that hired him. <laughs> took a plasma screen, left an etch a sketch. <laughs> As I mentioned, I am from Africa. I moved here 10 years ago. And immediately I moved here, I heard a lot of British people talking about the financial crisis, the recession. I'm from Africa, what are you maniacs talking about? <laughs> you call that a crisis? If that's a crisis, where is UNICEF? <laughs> where is Bono? What did he say? I have not I seen don't know one save the was. UK concert. Bono? Oh, you yeah. can tell me it's a financial crisis when there are planes flying over Birmingham tossing fish and chips out the window. <laughs> it yeah, will it be is. a financial crisis when there are ads on television saying this chav has to walk five miles a day <laughs> to get a bottle of WKD blue. <laughs> You have got a financial crisis when India starts opening call centers here. <laughs> yeah. That's Can you good. imagine That's good. some poor guy in Mumbai calls his bank, ends up talking to a Brummy? <laughs> Thank you so much, Brummy. Yeah, it's pretty good. He kept it really friendly. Imagine how good you'd get though too with like you know this is a career. Right. Like if he does make it further be interesting. Oh, we like you don't throw your best stuff out there always first. Yeah. 
Golden buzzer for you. You are brilliant, and I cannot wait to hear more from you. Well Thank done. You so much. Thank you very much. You should be a comedy superstar. Yes. All the jokes were really original, and you are incredibly likable. I couldn't fault it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, well, not only do I think you're an undiscovered little star. I could see you owning your own show. Thank you. What you did was so funny and naughty <laughs> and unique. This is why we make shows like this, to find people like you. Oh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a 16 minute video. Again, I just want to it. say we should probably give our insight right now, like a little bit at least for. I think he did really good, yeah. Yeah, he, I think he was likable as well. Um, and th the thing I was saying earlier is if he had more practice, like I'm sure he practices at home and stuff, but doing it in front of a crowd, you know, that's when you really get good because well, you're you're learning. Oh, he's already good though. He's like, really he's, good. He's practiced a lot. Like. But but people who are good who haven't like done it in front of big ass crowds like that oh yeah like, what's his yep, yeah yeah like he he's gonna only get better is what i'm saying and i think he's already really good he's very likable i think he's been in front of a lot of crowds because the way he handled that was pretty he could have pretty good he could have but i don't i don't know if he's been in front of crowds like that though yeah definitely not like that no. I so that. i mean that's what i'm saying large crowds you know it, it helps you get better with it but um absolutely i was gonna Throw say the sharks things. pretty much yeah um, I lost the other thing I was going to say, because, dang it, okay. Is it about how amazing I am? No. Damn it. You wish. Yeah, I do. Oh, Let's okay. play the video. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for that welcome, and thank you, Amanda, for pushing that buzzer. Ever since you did it, my life has been bonkers. Oh, I was going to say, he's innocent, like, his, his... You know, we like dirty humor, yeah. but we also like the innocent humor, like, we like it all, and... It, it, they're two total different kinds of humor, so you get... He's keeping it family-friendly, yeah, for sure. Yeah, which is yeah. good, because then you have a bigger audience. Right, and so. then I, he probably wouldn't be on here if he didn't. I don't know what level know. of content they take as far as that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Approaching me on the road saying, well done, but the most common question I get is, you're from where? Is it Mali? Maui? Ma it's Malawi. And if any of you don't know where that is, it's where Madonna adopted all the babies from. <laughs> That's us. That's us. <laughs> yeah, you're jealous. <laughs> I do miss my little brother. Oh. <laughs> you no, know, he's got such a good oh. background to use too. To and Angelina took my sister, so. <laughs> and I've been in the UK a while. I was tricked into moving here. I was tricked because I was watching television and I saw an angry guy came on television and he said, oh, these immigrants take all the good jobs, all the good women. I was like, wow, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. But I know sometimes comedy, it's hard to laugh sometimes because the news is full of depressing stuff. 
But I think the thing is, it's yeah. misleading because amazing things happen every day. Little acts of kindness, but they don't report it. They don't show they put it. put it on page 10, they open with the doom and gloom. If the BBC News was a mate of yours, you'd never go over. Look, I'm not going to that depressing barbecue. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with Cartoon Network. But it's an amazing time to be alive. People say stuff like, oh, oh I miss the good old days. The good old days were terrible. We've got amazing stuff. We've got Wi-Fi. Mm. Yeah, oh, he's not wrong. Wrong. We've got Amazon. <laughs> Women can vote? Yeah. Yeah. I'm black. 200 years ago, this would have been an auction. Oh, yes. my God. Okay, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. good. That was good. She loved that. That was probably his best joke, but like for him that to was. throw that out there like that, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. He's a, he's a great kid. Yeah. yeah. We've come a long way, that's all I'm saying. But even with the doom and gloom, the Mala the Malawian press is a lot worse than your press here. I I'll tell you, like, I did the first ever comedy show in Malawi, which isn't an accomplishment. I'm the only stand-up comedian, right? <laughs> and I called the local press and said, send a reporter. The editor said, ah, ah, why don't you uh, write the review yourself? Huh? <laughs> Give me some money. I will say we wrote it. <laughs> I was disgusted by the total lack of integrity in the Malawian press. But wow, that was the best review I ever got. <laughs> Seven stars. He's a genius. The African Michael McIntyre. <laughs> oh, but it's crazy I'm on television right now because my ex always felt I wasn't ambitious enough. She always used to be like, you're a comedian. Come on, be more ambitious. I said, hey, I'm happy. She said, you're not happy. <laughs> I said, I think I'm happy. She said, no, be more ambitious. I did not sign up for somebody who's going nowhere. I snapped. I told her, look, you knew I wasn't ambitious the day we met. Of all the women in the bar, I approached you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. I'm single now. <laughs> <laughs> and I am looking for love, I'll admit. I'm looking for love. You know, got to get that citizenship, you know. <laughs> going for a date and the woman made a lot more money than me which isn't a problem we're in the 21st century but I was ashamed I remember the waiter came up assumed I was gonna pay put the bill in front of me I had to go <laughs> I'll get the next one <laughs> I felt so pathetic watching her pay I wanted so badly to be part of the transaction so I just took the change <laughs> understand the British. I saw a beautiful British woman looking at a mirror upset. I said, what's going on? She said, can't you see? It's a fat mirror. I said, what do you mean the mirror's fat? She said, this mirror makes me look fatter than I really am. I said, wow, I think my eyes have the same problem. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> was not mocking her. Don't be angry with me. It was a cultural misunderstanding. I'm from Africa. It's different. When we see someone overweight, we don't think oh. go on a diet. We're more like, where did you get the food? <laughs> <laughs> I think He's we got a problem. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. I love how he uses his background and, like, the things about him oh, to, yeah. like, incorporating them into this. Because that's what makes it funny. He's going places that not a lot of people go as far as comedians. Yeah, yeah. I love, well, I love that. That's, you know, that's... When people can use that to their advantage and make people laugh, it's more respectable. Absolutely. You know? And you came from a hard place, you know? And you got through it and you're in the United Kingdom now and... Like, that's awesome. It is, yeah. <laughs> the third one's gotta be the two, I'm sure. Yeah. Why would they throw some random person? I don't know. Oh. Thank you, thank you so much. It's so good to be back. And I just realized you've had Kenya, now Malawi. This part of the show has been sponsored by the old British colonies. <laughs> But it's been so supportive and so wonderful since I did the show yesterday. People have been coming up to me saying, oh, you were great. You are great. I hope you're better tonight. You were good. You were good. I hope you're better. Which is great, but you could not do this in any other part of your life. Could you go on a date? 
and be like, my ex was really kinky, I hope you're better. <laughs> but it's hard to be romantic, actually. I remember my ex looked at me once and she said, you know what, Deliso, I would die for you. I panicked. All that came out was, thank you. There was a long, uncomfortable silence. And then she went, would you die for me? I said, I'd take a bunch. <laughs> and she punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool. And I know you're all worried right now because you've had that post-Brexit divorce talks. Will you get a good deal? Will you get a bad deal? If you get a bad deal, don't worry. I've got the backup plan for you. Join the African Union. We'll take you. <laughs> If your money's been devalued, you had MPs fiddling expenses, you're practically African. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I know I cross the line sometimes, and actually, Simon, yesterday you said you like that I'm non PC, but the brilliant thing is in the UK, I can be non PC. I can cross the line. The worst that will happen is one of you will send a complaint letter. <laughs> I can do jokes about your government. No problem. This is not the same rules in Africa. <laughs> you think I would ever go to Zimbabwe and do a Robert Mugabe joke? <laughs> you think I'd go to North Korea and do a Kim Jong-un joke? <laughs> it would be, Britain's got arrests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I love being here. I love being here. And I do get some weird racism sometimes, but it's very subtle. It's little things like, I was in a store the other day. Somebody saw me. Thought I was going to steal something. So I followed me with their eyes. I just had a bit of fun. I just went. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> I want to steal this. Oh. Yeah, it's going into you know stereotypes or whatever. But I'll admit, racism happens in all directions. It's not just white on black. It happens black on white. It happened in my own family. I was so ashamed. A friend of mine from Denmark decided to go backpacking across Africa. He passed through Malawi. Now, a lot of my uncles had seen white people on television, never met one. They got mighty excited. I got a call. He said, hey, your white friend is coming here. Wow. He must stay with me. Don't worry, I can cook rice. <laughs> I think he figured white people need to eat white food. <laughs> so I let him stay with my rice uncle, Ben. <laughs> What's wrong? He said, ah, I think you give me defective white man. <laughs> I said, what do you mean he's defective? He said, your friend, he acts exactly like us. I said, he's a human being. What did you expect? And with a tear in his eye, I was like, uh, I thought he was going to do some crazy white things. <laughs> he just wanted a story for the pub. So when no one is looking, I went to Mateus. I said, yo, 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 yo. Next few days, just do some crazy white things. Give him a story. He said, no, I'm the first white man he's ever met. I think it's very important that I don't live up to any false stereotypes. <laughs> I said, Mateus, you're not paying for food. You're not paying for accommodation. The least you can do is some crazy white things. <laughs> so I slept with my uncle's wife. Oh. I love how they do stereotype stuff and they don't yeah. care. It doesn't bother them. And then he took his land. <laughs> 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 and then he made him a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, he's good. He is. That's awesome. Yeah, that was great. We've never heard of him. So. Uh -uh, that was good. Like, I love those shows, but there's so many of them out there now, so they kind of lost, like, it's oversaturated. The market with those shows is oversaturated, because, like, what was it? Well, you mean the talent shows? Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Because what, what, okay, what's the big one that started? American Idol, right? Yep. And then there's X Factor. There's Britain's Got Talent. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's a couple more. I know that. Yeah. We don't watch cable, though, guys. God. We actually really don't watch TV much at all. Like, we have Netflix and Hulu, but we don't watch it, really. Yeah. That guy went to some places with his jokes, but it clearly paid off because he made it to the... Uh, <laughs> he's a third place winner, so he got third place the whole thing. That's, That's pretty but, good. But they actually... I think, like, the top few people actually still get something from it well, um, yeah, because probably... was it Adam Adam Love no 
Adam, Adam Levine. Lamb. Which one? I can't remember which one was on the Adam Levine. I know which one you're talking about. Yep. The one that's he's got the dark hair. Yep. Um, I know that he was on it with somebody else, I believe. And is it Lambert. It, I can't remember. Is it? I think it's Lambert. I'm, I'm Adam getting, L. Adam Levine. <laughs> Adam, L. Adam Levine and Adam Lambert. I get confused. Their names. I get okay, confused. Okay, so Levine's the Maroon Five one. If I. Not mistaken, you're making me second guess. Okay. Guess myself here. So but. it's the other guy then. Okay, so I think it's Lambert. Yeah, but anyway, they they all get like the top three people. They usually always get like a. Oh um, yeah. Like a, what do you call it? He got his own album out of it. Yeah. Which is good. He's a singer, so that's what he's aspiring to do. And yeah. He get noticed for sure. You get the exposure. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So yeah, but he was great, you know. And the thing that I love about comedians is when they throw in stereotypes because. People get so offended by that stuff, but when you can joke about it right. and not take it so serious, that's what's funny. Like, Absolutely. that's what, like, we're all human, like, like the food part, you know, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I just think it's funny. I love that stuff. That was good. Guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's 24-7 HD News if you like that video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.